Universal Studios Orlando. Many brave it, but only some challenge to go to this theme park on the weekends. What's up everyone? It's me and Dan. We're hanging, we're gonna go into Universal today. We're actually gonna go to the Horror Night Mazes. If you see my other video, go check it out right now. I went in the morning, got my reservation, but I had to go home and pick up Dan. So we're back and we're gonna go in the mazes. Dan's never done Horror Night Mazes. Dan hasn't been to Universal in a long time, so I'm excited to get his first take. But we are here on a Friday, which is one of the craziest, busiest times, especially during this pandemic. So we're gonna see how everything goes. Um, obviously we're gonna be safe, but we're gonna have a good time. So if you enjoyed this vlog, make sure you guys like, subscribe, share, ring that bell, and uh, let's get this vlog started. Welcome to CityWalk. Welcome to CityWalk. Look at everyone. I mean, as you can tell, there's a decent amount of people here. Uh, it's been popping off on the weekends here at Universal. Uh, Islands of Adventure is actually at capacity right now. But luckily for us, Universal Studios isn't, and that's where we're going. This is a realistic idea of what you can expect when you're coming to Universal on the weekends. Personally, I will let you know right now, you should go on the weekday if you can, because things get really crowded here. Welcome to Universal, Dan. When was the last time you were here? <laughs> So he asked me this off camera, and I genuinely have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I, I really have no idea. Oh my god, ET Adventures at a 50 minute wait. <laughs> I can see it from here. That's uh, usually that's a walk on. Rip Ride Rock is only a 30 minute wait though, which is interesting. But everything seems to be 30 minutes or higher. Uh, the Men in Black Alien Attack is at a 50 minute wait, so needless to say, you know what to say. It's crowded. But we're mainly here for the haunted houses. They're at capacity for today. However, like I said, we have a reservation already. We're gonna meet up with my friends right now, actually. Hashtag the pandas out here just chilling, talking to the babies and the children, which is awesome. And just another perspective of the parks right now. Found all my friends. Hey, you got the, the virtual queue right there, ready to go. We have our party. Hello, friends. Hello. They're all here. Catalina loves Halloween Harness. Are you excited? You've been waiting for this moment. I'm still shaking a little. You're scared. You're not happy. Dan has no idea what's happening. I still am. Nick, how do you feel? I don't know how they're gonna scare you. I love horror. Thank you. Revenge of the Tooth Fairy. You're gonna be scared. What's your, what's your, what are you doing? What are you thinking going into this? Um, I think it's a little strange. It's like during the day. Yeah. Right now, everyone's trying to figure out who's going where in the lineup. You know, who's first, who's last, who's in the middle. Middle. The middle? <laughs> no one wants to be in the back. Me and Dan want to be in front. All the girls are afraid. But maybe Nick will. I went from the front. To the back. <laughs> Face covering is required. Here it is. I can smell all the stuff. We're about to go in. We will see you after the ride. Okay, guys. We'll see you after. Bye, guys. You ready? Ready? Thumbs up. We got this. We got this. Um, my uh, my hypothesis was correct. You cannot scare me from behind Pepsi glass or from six feet away. Fair. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, okay, we got scared, I think, a couple times in there. Yeah, I mean, I think I got more scared from others screaming than like, anything else. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I think I missed half of them. Yeah, you're, you're, I didn't, I was like, right off through I, mean, like, I felt like there was a piece you have to keep because of the six feet thing. Hey guys. Were you scared? Um, I'm scared of crying. Okay, I'm crying right now. Yeah. How was that? Me. Nick? What? How was that? How was the room? How, How was everything? Was great. I got to I got to <laughs> lead my small group. And, uh, yeah, me too, and I missed it. Right? They had some crazy <laughs> maps. Oh my yeah, god. Yeah. Some of them the effects. The effects are really good in there. Yeah. Okay, so overall my opinion about that uh haunted house was it was really good really well designed uh i subconsciously was not getting scared because i saw the plexiglass so i cho i chose to look away so i didn't get scared uh, yeah <laughs> I, I, sh I should prepare myself for the next one i'm gonna try to just accept the scaring even though i know where it is um the girls got super scared the boys eh, kind of but the theming the designing was amazing and if this was during a normal horror nights that would have been a horrifying house Welcome to the magical world of Diagon Alley. It's quite crowded today. Quite crowded indeed. Uh, do, we, do you fancy a beverage? Beverage? Bever be beverage, you know? Hey, leave some comments down below if you would like us to get a beverage here in the wizarding world of Harry That's Potter. Not, she has a wand. That's not bad. Oh, she doesn't have a wand. <laughs> but it is a wand. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> 
what to do when there's nothing to ride because everything's over an hour away. We just sit in the corner, eat some corn dogs, drink a beer, and just talk about life. You know I would have had a black hat on. It is time for Universal Monsters. The Bride of Frankenstein lives. Universal Monsters was my favorite maze last year in general, so like, I'm actually really hyped for this one. I'm super. We are going in. Hey. We're going. Hey. hey, we're going in. You're not gonna see anything. They're so scared. Oh, you see heads. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's Lady Frankenstein. Hello. Alright Dan, how'd you feel about that oh, one? Oh dude, so much better. They, yeah? were, they were much more creative with the plexiglass location. So you, right? you got scared because right. you can't see so it coming. You don't know where it's coming from. Gotcha, gotcha. He scared, scared me because he's like, I'm not scared, there's plexiglass. And then he goes, wait. See, like I said, it was, it was so much more strategically placed. Yeah. Or they would do things like have multiple plexiglasses set up. And so you, you don't, don't know, know which, which one. one. Yeah, okay, right. that's good. You didn't find that one scary? scary. The jump scares were bad, but too scary. Kayla? Dan is right. So when you see them the coming, yeah. the, bl the, the plexiglass, I was, I led that group. But oh, they so I was in the back that yeah. time too, yeah. so. They see me, and then they back up. To right. Jump scare yes, them yes, back. yes, yes. Oh. Yes, that did happen. Yes. Multiple times. I mean, like, darkness and terror, so it worked for me. <laughs> <laughs> Nick? What? How'd you feel about that one? That one? Yeah. Nothing. No. <laughs> Walking, he was like, ah, he did it! <laughs> I rooted the story was cool. I mean, I got oh, excited yeah. when Frankenstein. Like story on that one too. But I was taking a slow time. <laughs> yeah, you maybe that's that's why. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like Catalina. <laughs> <laughs> <What? I> <laughs> <laughs> How'd you do? Um, I didn't fall. Yeah, yeah, you didn't. That's good. Uh, did. yeah. She screamed at some point and it killed my eyes. Another look at the crowd before we head out. Also, they have merchandise outside of the tribute store now for Halloween Horror Nights as well, which is pretty dope. So we have left Universal Studios and we're about to head out, but I did want to showcase they actually do have merchandise for Horror Nights out here as well. So even if you don't have a ticket to go into the park, you can still actually get merchandise. They got cups, they got shot glasses. Very cool. These are all commemorative shirts from like in the past. 1999, 1991, 1992. Even face masks. Look at that. Another stand right here showing other merchandise as well. Man. There it is. University of the Monsters. Your favorite house. You've only been to two, but out of the two houses, I'm assuming you yeah, Wasn't it just the two monsters? Yeah. Isn't there, the, is like normally the house have all of them? Yeah, last year I had all of them, Dan. It was awesome, bro. Like the, oh, it was so cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, we are back at our hotel. We actually have a hotel that's about like five, ten minutes away, so now we're chilling. Overall, Dan, your first experience with the Halloween Horror Nights, obviously it's not what you knew yeah. or expected. So, but I will say that now having seen this, I think the regular Horror Nights would have been amazing. Yes, um, that's perfect. But... We, we did get some insider knowledge. They may be adding some more Ooh, yes. houses. We, yeah, they might actually be adding so, more houses. Who knows? So, yeah, like I said, there was the one of them was really scary. The other one, you could sort of telegraph the scares because of the, pex, the plexiglass, but that one had a cool theming, so. Yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, if you've been scared to do Halloween Horror Nights, now's the time to, you know, go, right? Because, like, it's, yeah. it's in the daytime. It's not as scary, but, like, I wanted to talk on that, too. Um, because there's such a huge attendance, Universal might be adding more houses, so we'll see. It's just a rumor, but overall, I had a good time today. I, I'm so happy I was even to sh able to show you some of the maze itself. So that was cool. Yeah, shout out that worker. Shout out that worker that let me record for 10 seconds. You the best. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you go ahead, like, subscribe, share, and ring that bell. And like always, every day is a blessed day to be alive, and we will see you in the next one. Peace, guys. Peace. Bye.